Hey guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about the care of glowfish tetras. So not the Danios, but the, the tetra ones. Uh, now these are not dyed or injected with anything. They are, are actually bred this way now, which is really cool. You know, a lot of people think that they are still injected and whatnot, but they are not. They're actually born this way. Uh, they come in quite a few cool colors, including blue, uh, a red, green, a uh, pink, uh, orange and a purple color um, so you know so you can give them in a whole bunch of different colors there which is really cool uh, most pet stores sell them for somewhere around 10 bucks or so and of course it depends on where you go and where you live but they're usually about 10 bucks and now they are a schooling fish um, so they should be in groups of at least five or more so keep that in mind when buying them but they will also school with black skirt and white skirt tetras as this is actually what they are um, they just have been they're, they're just very colorful versions I guess to put it simply um, now in order to make their colors pop all the way you will want a blue light on them uh, especially in a dark room or something like that it will make their colors pop even more so than just a normal white light will so uh, so yes yeah, so I guess get a blue light for them now there are many kits that include these blue lights, but there are also many of these kits are just too small. Uh, you want at least a 10 gallon tank for them. So any of those 5 gallon or I think 2.5 gallon tanks at Tetra brand sells are just too small. Go for at least a 10 gallon tank and of course bigger is better. Uh, so, so like I said before they are schooling fish so you want to get at least 5 or 6 of them or more. Um, but so you can buy one or two of the glow tetras and then finish up your school with just some white skirt or black skirt tetras to go along with them so that way you're not spending nowhere near as much money uh, as again they're about 10 bucks each whereas a white skirt or a black skirt tetra is about two bucks each so you can, you can do it that way to save yourself some money but still get some really cool fish alright now for some of the basic actual care on them uh, again they're Minimum tank size is a 10 gallon tank, but again, bigger is better. Uh, they are pretty easy to take care of. Um, they're peaceful for the most part, but there have been some that will nip at other fish. Um, they also seem to more chase each other around than they do other fish, uh, or at least in my own experience, that's how they seem to act. But they don't actually hurt each other or anything. They just kind of like to chase each other, it would seem. Uh, now water temperature they should be somewhere just like any, pretty much any other tropical species uh, between 75 to 80 but they can actually take a little bit lower or a little bit higher than that but not by much uh, they will get about two and a half inches or so in length once they're full grown um, they are omnivores just like many other tropical fish are so we can feel them fish flakes uh, tropical fish flakes uh, tropical pellets uh, you can feel me like blood worms and other treats like that every now and then as well. Uh, now pH, they should be somewhere between 6 to 7.5 or so. But just like with pretty much all fish, it's more important to not have your pH fluctuate on them than it is to actually try to get it at that exact levels. Um, pretty much as long as it does not fluctuate too much, you should be okay with, with it. And as long as it's not way too high or way too low. Alright, then they are from South America, um, and now, or at least the black skirt and white skirts are from South America, and they are uh, in the kerosene family, uh, as they are tetras. And, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much basic information. Um, you can keep them with other community fish as well, so other types of tetras, um, probably can keep them with like some guppies, uh, pilates, stuff like that. They should be okay with as long as your tank is big enough, of course. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.